Welcome to Mixtape Videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the top 10 best dunks from the NBA Dunk Contest going back to the year 2000. There were several amazing dunks from old school players like Jordan, Dr. J, Dominique Wilkins, and more. But the new generation has brought some pretty spectacular performances as well, and we're counting down the very best based on style, level of difficulty, and pretty much whichever ones we liked the most. Before we start, let's look at some of the dunks that didn't make the cut. You gotta be in joke. Okay. Oh. Okay. It is. Possible it's for him, though. No, no it, he's got to be up higher. Oh, now that there was you good. Go. He's got to get now up higher. That was good. Doc only gave him a nine. Yeah. And Michael only gave him a nine. Oh, well, you know. Uh, two of the greatest dunkers of all time. It's hard so, to pass a 10, man. Yeah. Are you kidding me? They, they've seen it all. They've seen it all, but that was just originality. It was yeah, talent. And give up the respect to Dominique all at the same time. I wonder if they got a Connie Hawkins jersey over there. Oh, man. Yeah, that's hot. That's Dominique. Number 10. Fred Jones Tomahawk off the bounce in 2004. At first glance, this one looks simple. Bounce, catch in midair, and dunk. But there's more to it than that. Jones does a 180 degree spin and extends to reach the ball and do a tomahawk dunk. The extension and ferocity are what make this dunk amazing, and the more times you watch it, the better it gets. Oh. Number 9. JaVale McGee dunking three basketballs in 2011. Two have been done. Two into two different nets has been done. But three? All in one basket? No way, you might think. But not JaVale McGee. At what may go down as McGee's finest moment, he dunked three basketballs into one basket. But he didn't just dunk three basketballs. He dunked two, caught another one in midair, and dunked it. The hang time and concentration required to pull off this dunk are pretty impressive. Number 8. Jeremy Evans dunking two basketballs over his teammate in 2012. How can dunking two basketballs be better than dunking three? Well, try jumping over a teammate, catching the two basketballs in midair, and then dunking both into one basket. Don't say there's no creativity left in the dunk contest, because Jeremy Evans has proven that theory wrong on several occasions, this dunk being one of them. Props to Gordon Hayward for not one, but two great passes. This dunk is creative, fun, and easy to watch again and again. Wow, oh, I'm telling you, this is a tough dunk here. Oh! Yes! Number 7. Dwight Howard tap off the backboard and dunking in 2008. Howard had several great dunks this year, his most famous being the Superman throwing the ball into the basket dunk. However, since that one wasn't technically a dunk, we'll have to go with the tap off the backboard as his best from 2008. Howard seemed to stop in midair and just float for half a second while he tapped the ball off the backboard, caught it with his other hand, and dunked it. The dunk was so amazing, it was almost unbelievable that a human could do that. But Howard pulled it off and went on to win the 2008 Slam Dunk Championship. I'm leaving the building! I, I quit my Number 6. Nate Robinson between the legs pass off the backboard into a windmill dunk in 2006. Nate Robinson is known for his short stature. Just seeing him dunk would have been amazing. But he took it a step further with the pass for this dunk. He passed the ball between his legs twice, the second time throwing it off the backboard, and then he caught it and dunked it. The dunk itself was great, but the pass was what made it all amazing. That's taking it to another level. 
Number 5. Amare Sotomayor 180 degree dunk from the head bounce pass from Steve Nash in 2005. This is another example of a great pass making the dunk even more amazing. Except this dunk would have been pretty cool by itself. But add an off the backboard pass to Steve Nash who head bounced it back for a 180 degree dunk? That makes me dizzy just saying it. Nash and Stoudemire was one of the best duos in the NBA, and this is just another play to add to that highlight reel. Number 4. Jason Richardson between the legs reverse dunk in 2003. Here was another guy that brought his A game to the dunk contest. Jason Richardson lit up the dunk contest in 2003 like very few have, and this dunk had the crowd going wild. This one is all style and power. As soon as you see it, you know you've just seen something unique, something you may never see again. Three years removed from the famous 2000 dunk contest, the NBA world was hungry for something new and exciting. Richardson delivered everything the crowd wanted and more. It might not have beat Carter's dunks, but it's definitely up there. Ball two feet also. Number 3. Sergi Baca from in front of the free throw line in 2011. Dunking from inside the free throw line has been done. Dunking from the free throw line has been done. But dunking from behind the free throw line? That would be the longest dunk ever, and Sergi Baca pulled it off in 2011. We're going to take this opportunity to also give props to James White, who dunked with two hands from just inside the free throw line. But Ibaka wins the number 3 spot simply for being the longest in the history of the dunk contest. He's a big man, yes, but he's no 7-footer. At 6'10", this is still a difficult dunk to pull off, and Ibaka did just that and stunned the crowd. <laughs> number 2. Nate Robinson between the legs in 2006. Again, the guy is 5'9", so anything would have been impressive. However, this dunk is special for two reasons. One, it's just a cool dunk. Secondly, and even more impressively, is that he actually ran and dunked the ball. Most shorter guys have to bounce the ball high and then catch it in midair and dunk it. Robinson straight up ran towards the basket, jumped four feet in the air, and got enough hang time to pass it between his legs before dunking it. You gotta give the guy props for this one. There are very few guys under five feet who could do this. Okay, now just come up with something where he can make it. Oh, that was cool. Number one, Vince Carter in 2000. All of them. Okay, so we're cheating here by including more than one dunk, but can you pick out just one from this contest? Yes, there's the most famous one, the reverse 360 windmill, but all of them were jaw-dropping. The behind the backboard 180 windmill dunk, the bounce pass between the legs dunk, the elbow dunk, and the two-handed dunk from inside the free throw line. The dunks in themselves were amazing, but Carter's body control, style, and swag made them perfect from beginning to end. Some of these dunks have been repeated, but nobody did it quite like Vince Carter. Half man, half amazing. Let's go home! Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen! Let's go home! Let's, let's go home! Let's go home! Hey, my goodness, you know what I'm saying? Let's just sign the check over. Let's go home, call it a night. Let's see who's going for second place. So there you have it, our top 10 dunks from the dunk contest going back to the year 2000. Of course, a lot of what makes a dunk amazing is based on individual opinion. So what dunks stand out to you from the dunk contest? Don't forget to subscribe for more top 10s and NBA highlights.